Alrighty, fucking the CX News. Okay. Bunk Links needs, I need to talk to him. He needs to talk because he was being very, very um, aggressive towards everybody on the network for absolutely no reason at all. Um, and he, it's, it's like not cool. You know what I mean? He just incites toxicity for absolutely no reason at all with some of the stuff that he says. And it just doesn't, like, it's just dumb. You know what I mean? He, ha- he like, you know, what's the word? He just, I don't know. He just likes to bring up stuff that is just, like, he says everybody in the network's like, oh, this person no content, this person no content, blah, blah, blah. It's just aggressive for no reason. Um, so I need to have a talk with him about that because it's not cool. Um, completely. You know what I mean? The news is supposed to be something that's unbiased. Something that's, you know, to sh- tell everybody what's going on if you h- aren't keeping up with everything. But it's the opposite. He was being very biased <laughs> for his own reasons. Um, f- and it's supposed to be funny. Like, it wasn't funny. Like, he just, he just, like, talks down on everything and everybody. Um, in the network and just in the community as a whole, and it's just, like, not cool, you know what I mean? It just incites unnecessary toxicity, um, which, you know, a lot of people on Reddit or whatever, a lot of people in the community, they might just say, oh, no, that's, you know, bullshit, free speech, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I mean, I like free speech, but um, as a news anchor, you should be reporting the news. You shouldn't be reporting stuff that's only toxic. That's just not cool. And you should also not be giving out your own opinions on somebody else's content or somebody else's whatever. You should just be reporting the news, uh, and that's it. You know, making a skit, that's funny, sure, but he wasn't making any skits. They weren't funny. He was literally just being like, fuck this person. This person's got, like, this person sucks. This person's this. Blah, blah, blah. Like, whatever, dude. Like, you know what I mean? I need to have a talk with him, but um, I don't know. I was going to do a uh, CX court on Bone Clinks. And I was going to call for that, but I'm not really sure if he'd be down for that. But I'm calling that out right now, Bone Clinks. I think there's, uh, and it was not just me who thinks this. Uh, literally, most people on the network think the same exact way that I'm thinking, so I'm not going to just be like, uh, you know, if, if everybody in the network is mad about something, I'm going to definitely address it. I don't think that Bone Clinks is a mean person. I just think he doesn't understand the line in terms of making a joke and saying stuff that's actually aggressive Snowflake and bringing everybody Snowflake else down for no reason. Snowflake. 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 Um, okay. CX news is, um, it needs, he just needs, I need to talk to him. He needs to, uh, bone clinks needs to not put everybody in the community down. It's as simple Snowflake as that for absolutely no reason. And he needs to report on actual news, not just sit there and talk about, you know, toxic ass shit for no reason at all. It's, as a news anchor, you you give no opinion. Like, you're not supposed to give an opinion. But he gave way too many opinions today um, on people's content, on what somebody should do, on, you know, speculations. And that's just not what a news anchor should be doing. That's uh, unprofessional of a news anchor to do. But then again, Bone Clinks isn't a professional news anchor, so obviously he makes mistakes. So I'm just going to, I just need to talk to him about it. Uh, I know we need to have a chat. So, uh, what do you think about the news? I did not like the news. <laughs> I thought it was uh, very, very uh, aggressive and very biased. In not biased in a way of unopinionated, or not biased in a way of uh, yeah, unopinionated news. News. Yeah. I think it's just how do I explain this? It was just toxic. I'll just no. put it like that. No, I hear you. And um, what honestly, what I was trying to create was just something that would speak about the current climate of your community. You know, because I really do have a lot of faith in you, and, like, that's kind of what I said previously, that I think that uh, the streaming community has so much potential that it's just being wasted. And uh, Dude, you watch videos for 10 hours. No, I know. Honestly, <laughs> no, I'm a joke. Honestly, I'm a joke. And, like, you gave me, as a joke, an opportunity to uh, voice the opinion of uh, people who watch your shit. I've been a big fan for a very long time, and... Uh, all I wanted to do was kind of just create something that would be sort of a way to uh, express 
serve feelings of the community and to... Uh, and that's why it's there, to course, express yeah. feelings of the community. Yeah. But that doesn't mean only expressing the toxic side of the community. No, no, You no. didn't express any of the non-toxic side of it. You strictly focused on the toxic ones, the toxic shit. No, I mean, um, I, I completely understand that point of view. And... Um, Honestly, if there was, like, a really great thing that happened, I would have been more than willing to highlight that. But in my opinion, there wasn't really anything that really showed that ability for me to put that forward. I was just kind of trying to highlight everything that happened. And I, I already went live for the uh, the drunk stream, everything mm-hmm. like that. We did a special report on that, everything. And, uh, I mean, I'm just trying to kind of highlight everything that's happened. So you're not Yeah, but you were highlighting... Thing. It in like in ways that put everyone else down. Everyone yeah. in the network you put down, um, and it's for like really no reason. Like you can express um, criticisms towards people without actually putting them down. Being like this person's a leech. This person has no content. This and that. Those are opinions, <laughs> Bone Clinks, and no, those no, aren't no, even no. Yeah, yeah. those aren't even like go, like good opinions. Those are just like really aggressively like toxic ones. No, um, of course. Because yeah, I'm yeah. trying to grow people's fucking shit in the network, dude. No, like, I, I want people that. to be, you know, big stream. Like, I want people to grow in the network. No, I get And that. no one wants to grow in the network if they're all just getting constant shit on. No, I, I hear what you're saying with that, definitely. And, because um, what people on Reddit say, you know, if they call somebody a leech or they say this person has no content and blah, 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 that's one thing. But I'm not really sure why you were only bringing those people up, giving them the platform. Well, you gotta understand that the only way I have to be a, like a looking point into your community is like from the Reddit or from the streams, and the only way I get to like understand what I need to report on is from outside sources like that. You know, I'm not someone like PD Plastic who's here with you all the time. You know, I'm not part of CX Network, anything like that. I'm just trying to give like a kind of viewpoint into what's going on right now. Like, if you had done, like, an amazing fucking, like, RV stream, something like that, I'd be reporting on, like, that's the fucking bombest shit ever. You know, like, this is so good. Mm -hmm. You know, but I'm just trying to sort of viewpoint what's going on in the community right now, you know? And, like, I love you. I want to make that very clear. Like, you're my fucking reason to start doing IRL streaming, everything like that. Like, and you had some really innovative content, and you still fucking do, and you still have the opportunity. But, like, I was just, I'm just trying to viewpoint what's going on right now. Right. That's it. You know? Dude, you don't understand. When you were doing, like, fucking fantastic IRL content, I was all about that shit. Like, every other day, you know, going to that Zorb and fucking Echo Park, like, doing all this other, like, the fucking, uh, the pool in the back of the truck, all this stuff. Like, that was amazing stuff. And you had a great community around you, a great amount of people who were just your friends, who were just giving you good advice. And now I feel like you don't really have that. You kind of have some yes men around you, you know, you have Sam Pepper, you have all these other people who don't really give a shit. They're only trying to, fur- like, further their own careers, you know? But... Everyone around me, for, let me say, 90% of people around me are doing that. You're right. But, uh, I see that. Okay. I don't need you to tell me. Of course you don't need me to tell you. I know that. Of course. But I'm just saying that I'm not going to be one of those people that's just like, yay, good. Yeah, good, but I'm, good I never asked for that. Of course, yeah. So. But you also told me that I could report anything I want to do, and that I had completely my creative control of this shit. You have creative control? You can say anything you want? Yeah. But you shouldn't attack people. No, I'm not I don't want you attacking people on my own platform, dude. (laughs) Especially people that use my fucking platform. Yeah. Because you know what? That makes people not want to use my fucking platform. Of course. But I also... Did you see that I also talked about the live stream field shit? I was also fucking... I mean, weeks later. It's not a week later. Or like, whatever. Like, that's old news by this point, dude. You should have talked about it the first news after it happened, but you didn't. Which I know why. You don't want them to be on their... You don't want to be on their shit list. I get that. Why would I have even talked about it at this point if I didn't want them to be on a shit list? I just, I went live for the breaking news about Well, why didn't you talk about it when it actually happened? Because I was typically going to do it one day a week. But it kind of goes against what you just said about people around around me who are furthering themselves. Yeah. And I'm, I don't want you to be on anyone's shit list. I don't want you to fuck yourself over to do something. Not here. But it does 
go against exactly what you just said. No, no, no. I'm just telling you that at this point, I was thinking of only doing it once per week on Saturdays, and it happened earlier in the week. I was going to wait until my actual time to do the news so I could prepare a lot of shit in order to talk about that, but some other shit happened. I went to the breaking report, and I don't know. I got my opportunity to talk about it right now. Well, do you think you can actually do the CX News without attacking people? Because all three CX News you've done so far have all been attacking people. There's been no humor in them whatsoever. It's literally just attacking people. And uh, people on Reddit <laughs> like that because they like attacking people too. Yeah. There has actually been little humor yeah. into the news. No. You know, like Alex Jones and like Fox News, like all these weird fucking stations, like they are fucking retards and they talk about dumb fucking shit and they do attack people like the president and all this other shit. That doesn't make it right though. Yeah, no, I agree. You know, Alex Jones is a dumbass. He attacks fucking everybody. That's why he's banning everything. He's a fucking dumbass. Fox News, CNN, they attack Trump because they're also stupid fucking liberals. And, um, you know, that does, that's not right. Yeah. But um, you shouldn't want to be like that. You no, shouldn't want to attack people. No, no, no. I'm not trying to attack people. I, I just kind of want to catch the moment of what the general consensus is of people... And I feel like if we were trying to create a sort of uh, a message, that would kind of lose that, you know? I feel like just capturing the general feeling of what's going on right now. Tell me, what's the general feeling at the moment? You read the Reddit. I do, but I want you to tell me in your words. Well, a lot of people are pissed right now. A lot of people are, are not happy with the, uh, you know, the general quality of the streams, but, you know, that's just the feeling of the Reddit. Yeah. But here's the thing, dude. People who aren't happy with the general quality of the streams, um, well, first of all, literally days ago, did the flamethrower stream, when I was drunk, people liked that. Like, all these other streams, like, that's not the general consensus. That's what they feel like today. Mm -hmm. Like, I know, I feel like you went hard on people because you wanted the show to have a good positive, um, like, you wanted people to like it, you know? You wanted it to be positive. And going hard on people is an easy way for people to really, you know, make the look at the show in, like, a positive light. But it kind of just fucks everyone else over. No, I, I completely understand that. And um, it's just kind of... I'm just trying to sort of play to the base. Like, I know that that's sort of, like, oh, my God, you're playing to Reddit, blah, blah, blah. But that's the audience. You know, that's the people that are watching. And so I'm just trying to sort of play to that and sort of replicate what they're saying into, you know... Yeah, but some people, you shouldn't replicate what they're saying. I hear you. Some people don't need to have that platform, Bone I Clinks. Hear I hear you. You know what I mean? Like, there's some people, and you know exactly the people I'm talking about, the people I told you not to talk about. And I have Which you haven't talked about, which is great, fantastic. Just be more careful with how you say stuff. I will be more careful with how I say stuff. <laughs> what? I'm telling you, I will. I do. I got your back. Honestly, there's, there's. I, I'm not like your enemy at all. Like I want to do stuff for you because I believe in you. So I'm not your enemy. Like if you tell me, I already told you. Like you tell me what you want me to do, and I'll do that. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, I guess we'll see, Bone Clings. All right. I um, I I look forward to seeing your next CX News, and hopefully, it's not going to be full of um, hatred. Of course not. Of course not. It will, it will not be. Thank you. Tell Tough Finn to see me back on the network. Okay. <laughs> Bro, don't worry about it. How many <laughs> shots have you had? A uh, couple. It's a few. <laughs> yeah, don't don't worry about it, bro. Don't think too hard into it. Okay. Just, just, you know, think about how people would want. Like, if you were on the the other side, think about how. You know, you. you wouldn't want people to say certain things about you. I got you, G. Don't worry. Okay. <laughs> we'll see you later, bro. You got. You have two minutes. Oh, dude. No, no. I. Because we're we're kind of busy right now, so you have two minutes. For sure. So as promised at the end of the last stream, so I was gonna bring Are a you chicken serious? cooked. So as promised, then the last stream, I was like, I'll bring you a chicken. All right. Let's see it. And I didn't cook it, so... So you just have a, an alive chicken. This is a straight live chicken. It's a live chicken. Where should I bust it out? Um, yeah, just drop it on the floor. Just, like, <laughs> re close the door to release the chicken. Come on. Uh, 
Is it gonna bite me? Honestly, I haven't handled a bird since one time I grabbed a pigeon in like a park, but I've never touched them. Is it gonna shit everywhere? I don't know, dude. I'm not a bird expert, but. All right, release it. All right, here we go. Okay. All right. Can I just use it? Can I just have this as a pet? Hey, dude, you're welcome to have it. All right, release the chicken. If it shits everywhere, I'll clean it up. Save the chicken from getting slaughtered, and uh, I don't know what it eats, but I'll figure it out. We can just have the chicken as a pet. I'll take it on walks and shit, or just leave it in my backyard, close the gate. It's fine. It's being kind of weird, though. It's, like, not moving. Yeah, it's probably scared, dude. It's probably it's in a new environment it's never seen before. That's true. And, uh, you know, it is, I mean, it's, it just needs time to warm up. I give it a, a month or, I give it, no, I give it a week before it starts cuddling me in the bed. I think it, do you have food for it, though? Um, I don't know, like, what, fucking, just, like, lettuce and shit? I think they eat seeds and, like, grains. I don't have any food, but I'll just go out later and I'll buy some food for it. It's, like, some seeds, grains, food. I'll look it up on the internet, see what chickens eat. And then okay. if it can start, like, laying eggs for me, that'd be sick. So instead of me going to the store to buy eggs, it could just lay eggs for me. And I can eat that for breakfast every day. And then that's, like, but what, I don't want, like, a situation with, like, the chinchilla where it's, like, it's just, like, over there somewhere. Yeah, like, but the chinchilla is different because that's a cage animal. So it's easy true. to just, like... Put it in a room and like, cause I don't want it walking around. And somebody's gonna step on it. This, yeah. this is a big ass chicken. People can't really step on it and kill it on accident. So I could just let this thing roam around the house and that's fine. All these people. Huh. Was, he was gonna cook you in a soup, little buddy. But now you're my, you're my pet now. I don't know how legal that is, but fuck it. Don't call Peta. Oh look at you. You're so cute. I keep thinking he's gonna bite me. Well, you're so cute. Look at you. It's so fat too. I like it. It's got so much meat. Oh my god. She's starting to warm up, dude. Look at you. You're such a cute little chicken. <laughs> dude, I like this thing. <laughs> Wait, is it a male or female? It's a girl. Gallina, that's what I asked for. Oh, it's a girl chicken, huh? Yep. In Spanish, called gallina. All right, don't don't show up that conversation that I had with EBZ the other night. <laughs> hey, gallina, how you doing? Oh, yeah, look at you. Oh. All right. It's like, so I have to grab it. So you grab the feathers and just kind of sandwich it in on itself. Real tight, you gotta be like a man about it. Dude, I'm afraid, dude. <laughs> All in or you might get fucked up. That's really? Yeah. Well, cause me, I almost dropped it. You gotta be a little stirred with it. Alright. <sighs> you got it. How you doing, buddy? Chickens don't bite. They're actually very good pets. Really? I feel like you're lying. Honestly, it's been really chill. I mean, we've never known it. I've never fucked with a chicken before. Start in the box, I guess. It could sense that you're like not dominant, I think. I love you, Paul. <laughs> Fuck, dude! Fuck, bro! Honestly, I'm scared that the robot will kill the chicken. I mean, the, ro the chicken will probably run away from the robot, so it's not that bad. Hey, buddy. Dude, hold it. Okay. Try holding it, bro. Dude, maybe a bit. Alright. Chicken! How can you hold it, but I, but I can't? Bro, do chickens fly? I like it. Is this gonna be outdoors or indoor chicken? <laughs> Bro, that's our indoor chicken. Our indoor chicken, huh? You don't want that in your house. Grab and pussy. Wait, dude, do, do they do they fly though? I think so. You have to clip it. I don't know if I can hold it, bro. It fucking scares me, dude. It's cool. It feels nice too. I like the chicken it. Chicken is detecting your basic extreme motherfucker. That's the calmest chicken I've ever seen. Are they? Well, maybe it'll, it's warmed up to us. That's why. Ooh, yeah. Look at you, little chicky. Ooh, eat that shit. Bro, eat it. Bro, this thing's trash, dude. This thing doesn't even eat. What should we name it? Chat, what do you think? What are we going to name the chicken? Because honestly, it could be anything. Like, name, we gotta, if we name it the perfect name, like, I don't want to name it Evan. No. Oh, no. No. I don't want to name it Evan, dude, because it's like, I don't want to keep, like, with that's, this is weird, dude. Like, Evan the chicken, dude. What about Ernest the chicken? Ernest the chicken, dude. KFC, and no, we're not going to name it fucking KFC Andy, dude. Colonel Sanders. Um, I think... I think Ernest the Chicken is a good name, honestly. Perfect. Oh, no!
No, dude, it flew away. Holy shit. Dude, it's peaking on my monitor. It's roosting. It's roosting on my monitor, dude. What the fuck? Dude, that's cool, though. Bro, that could be its new home. Bro, if it shits on my fucking monitor. Yo, for real, though. Um, I, I'm going to grab it, motherfucking, because, like, that's, that's, that's unacceptable. Like, we need to get this motherfucker off my shit, dude, for it shits on everything. Hold on. Alrighty. Okay. Okay, chicken. Let's see what you got, homie. I'm f I'm afraid of dropping it and like killing it. Like its neck's gonna crack Wait, if I drop it. Do you wanna watch me do it one more time? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, do it. Do it. Right. So you just say, I'm not afraid of you. And then look how hard that was. Just one. You just gotta go with it. You can't just uh, 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 be all afraid of it. It's like a like a dog or something, you know. All right. Oh, come on! <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna get it though. I'm gonna grab it. Hold on. You ever see like Caesar Malone? Like how he does. Who, who is, who is Caesar Malone? Dog Whisper. He's, a do he's all about like feelings, you know? Like the chicken can just sense feelings. They're like most animals. Go. Just, just go and don't back out. Alright. Come on. But see, it's, it like stares you. at me. It stares at me, dude. Like, but it doesn't stare at you like that. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> oh You're making it worse. Somehow it's dominating you. Yeah. Like. No, it's a woman. There's no way. The woman's dominating you, Paul. <laughs> Just give it a sec. Who's your little bitch? <laughs> Just give it a sec.